Press the button now. Welcome to the Mena Madina Cable Car. Get ready to enjoy a spectacular journey across the Costa del Sol sky. We are about to travel uphill for just over one and a half miles, starting from the town center of Arroyo de la Villa at about 500 feet above sea level and ending up at 2,500 feet on the summit of Mount Calamoro. The climb takes approximately 15 minutes and we'll be traveling at an average speed of about 11 and a half feet per second. The origins of Arroyo de la Miel date back to 1784, when Felix Solesio bought the plot of land on which the Plaza de España Square stands today in order to build a cardstock factory. However, it went bankrupt in 1803, and the land was shared out amongst the workers. They built their houses, and that's how the square was created. Then the town began to grow, and it became the place we know today. The name of Arroyo de la Villa, which in English translates as Honey Street, is plain. Apparently, there were a number of streets here in the old days, and there was a lot of beekeeping in the area, hence the name. We're in the municipality of Ben El Madina, which stretches from the southern foothills of the Sierra de Mijas mountain range to the edge of the Mediterranean. One of its peculiarities is that it is made up of three different urban areas. Which is now practically alive in the morning, as seen from a bird's eye view. First, we have Ben El Madina Costa. Okay. And we're just traveling over it. We've got Arroyo de la Villa. And then, if we look over to our left as the cable car moves forward, we will see Ben El Madina Pueblo, which is characterized by its whitewashed houses, so typical of Andalusian towns. The color is due to the use of slaked lime to paint the walls, which helps reflect the sun's rays and keep the temperature inside the houses pleasant during the summer. We're also going to cross over one of our country's most important motorways, the A7. It is known as the Mediterranean Motorway because it runs all along the Mediterranean oh. coast from Algeciras to Barcelona. Once across the motorway, we will enter the Calamoro mountain area. I the wind out of Spain after Mount Dane in the Canary Islands. Tidy. 
Standing out to the left of the Sierra Nevada, we can also see the peak of La Maroma at 6,785 feet. It is on the border between the provinces of Malaga and Granada in the heart of Aksharkia. If you look out to the west, in other words, to the left of the cable car, you will be able to see the western coastline from Mena Marina as far as Fuentirola and Mijas Costa. On a clear day, you can make out the Rock of Gibraltar and northern Morocco with its Atlas mountain range, which stretches for about 2,400 Yeah, you can see the rock. Just. As you can see, yeah. in spite of being on the sea, in the province of Malaga is interesting yeah, in the, the most think, mountainous uh, region in Spain. Whether that comes out or not, I don't know. You haven't been able to see everything, because you will have another chance to observe the views What's that from a different course, perspective. Course then, in the Toco Brada? If you look down, yeah. you can observe it's a typical a big, um, Mediterranean scrub complex of the hotel protected yeah. indigenous species like <coughs> palmettos, rosemary, thyme, gorse, majora, or mountain tea there. plants many of which are aromatic and used in cooking or as traditional homemade medicinal cures. These plants are interspersed amongst limestone rocks, which have strange forms for See, this is water in the middle erosion. These hills are rich with a wide variety of fauna, especially the huge number of mountain goats, which come here to search for water when there are no humans about. If you're lucky, you might come across one. We can also find foxes and wild boars, which are growing in number. We also have a large number of small, insect-eating and seed-eating birds, as well as other larger species like the golden eagle, or nighttime birds of prey, like the little owl, or eagle owl. There are reptiles, too, like the snub-nosed viper, the oscillated lizard, and a variety of wall lizards. It is becoming increasingly difficult to spot chameleons. We will shortly be reaching the top of Mount Calamoro, from where you will get an even wider perspective of the already described views and of other new ones. You can also enjoy the exhibitions of birds of prey in flight and walks along pathways with different panoramic viewpoints. You will find a number of dining stops at the top where you can take a break and then return to the time. Enjoy your visit. Enjoy your stay. Going up there now. This is straight up now. Okay. Oh, he just popped. See our hotel when we get to the top. Well, that cable don't look very thick, do it? <laughs>
you got to go up on the top to see how old that is over there. Oh, but here's a poppy. There's the marina. There's a castle we climbed up in Malaga. Yeah, that proves top of that wooded area. Our hotel. And we are in the top floor on the corner. Bring a roller. Bring a roller there. And right in the distance. Across this side somewhere. Is Africa. You can't see that either in this light. convergence of the sea and the mountains in such a small area gives the zone a very unique character. You now have the chance to see some wide panoramic views of the scenery we have around us. Apart from the geography around us, what most characterizes this area is the variety of plant species. They have all adapted themselves to lengthy spells of drought and continuous exposure to the sun. In general, their leaves are small in an effort to reduce excessive transpiration and with it a loss of water. This is the opposite of what happens to vegetation in regions with plenty of rainfall where the leaves are big and where the loss of water is not a problem. In a similar way, the roots here dig deep into the soil in search of water underground. One of the most interesting of plants is the palmetto, which is one of Europe's indigenous species.
peut devenir brûlant. Misty though. 